Well, I would have to say that going back to my playing days, um, we had the same conversation back in 99, and it was we, we didn't want to get paid. We wanted to give more money to charity. And the media turned it around us against us and said, we want to get paid. I said, no, I mean, <clears throat> the Ryder Cup itself makes so much money. Why can't we allocate it to various charities? Um, and what's wrong with each player, 12 players, getting a million dollars and you be able to divvy it out to amazing charities that they're involved in, that they can help out? Um, it's their hometowns where they're, they're from. Uh, all the different uh, junior golf associations or endeavors that the members are, are involved in. It, it's never really bent about getting paid. Is how can we allocate funds to be able to help our sport or help things that we believe in back home? Because it's so hard to get onto that team. There's only 12 guys. Um, what's wrong with being able to allocate more funds? That's their fine. That's right. That's their right to say that. Um, I just think that the event is so big um, that I think that it, we can give so much money to different charities. And I've said that since 99, when we had the, the Brooklyn, uh, Brookline negotiations. Um, and if the Europeans want to pay to be in the Ryder Cup, that's their, that's their decision to do that. That's their team. Um, I know when it's on European soil, that it subsidizes most of their tour. Um, so it is a big, a big event for the European Tour, and if they want to pay to play in it, so be it. 